Hi, this is Jenny from MyEnergyShift.com and today I'm going to make this orzo comfort dish. It has orzo and kidney beans, spinach and onions and celery in it. It's extremely easy to make and it is a comfort food. It's been raining in my hometown for a, the whole weekend. It's kind of chilly out. I'm starving, so I'm thinking this is a really good dish to make. So let's get going. All right, so orzo is an unusual pasta. I had never made it before I made this recipe. It looks like rice, but it is a pasta, and it can be quite, I don't want to say slimy, but slippery, so it's a very different type of tasting pasta. I'm also using, so this is what I bought for the orzo, and then I'm also using organic vegetable stock, so I'm just going to um, boil the ozo in the vegetable stock similar to what you would do with rice. So pouring in two cups of vegetable stock and one cup of orzo. We're going to stir that up, cover it up, and let it boil for a little bit um, to get it soft. Spinach is one of my favorite vegetables. I mean, it could just go in so many different things. So what I'm going to do is I'm chopping up spinach. It calls for baby spinach, but regular spinach will be fine. You're actually going to, I'm going to put it into the orzo. Once it's almost done cooking, I'm going to throw in the spinach. So I'm just getting it prepared and chopping it up right now. Nothing better than a bowl full of chopped up spinach. It called for a cup. I have a little bit more than that, but it's okay. It's so healthy for you. It's going to be fine. All right, the recipe calls for a cup of chopped onions and a cup of chopped celery. I'm going to saute that up in some vegetable broth. It calls for olive oil, but I'm going to go oil free and saute them up in some vegetable broth. All right, so I've got my onions and celery in this vegetable broth and it's going to start sauteing up a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic. I think it called for four cloves. I'm just going to eyeball it, put it in there. Too much garlic, you can't have that. The orzo has been cooking probably 10 minutes and it's almost done. I did cover it briefly. So what I'm going to do is throw in my spinach. You can see there's still some moisture in there. It needs to cook just a little bit longer. I'm just going to throw in my spinach and let that cook down a little bit. So this has just been in there about a minute or two. You can see the, of course, the spinach really cooks down pretty quickly. I'm just going to give it a stir and probably turn it off and let it steam the rest of the way because the water is pretty much absorbed. So I'm just going to leave it there while the onions and the celery are cooking. I added a little salt and pepper to the onions and celery. And when you use the vegetable broth, you're just going to have to really pay attention to it. It's going to, of course, evaporate. So I'm going to add a little bit more. But it's just going to be so much healthier and low calorie without the oil. So whenever you can, try to eliminate the oil, you can do that, especially when you're sauteing vegetables. Very easy just to add some vegetable broth or just water too. The recipe also calls for kidney beans. We're really going to add the fiber, a lot more fiber and help fill you up. So I got this dark red kidney beans. I have drained and rinsed them. And as soon as the onions and celery are finished cooking, I'm going to dump them in there. I'm going to put it all together and I'm going to eat. And it's so easy. All right, so they've been the Onions and celery have been cooking a little bit longer. I'm going to add my kidney beans that have been, again, rin drained and rinsed. They really don't have to cook. They just need to warm up a little bit. So we're going to stir those up. Let them cook for another minute or two. Here's a little helpful hint. I ended up with just, you know, a little bit of vegetable broth left over, and I don't want to leave in the refrigerator and forget about it. So I put them in ice cube trays and I'll pull them out and use them when I need to saute a little bit of onion. I'll pull out a couple ice cubes and I'm ready to go. So don't forget about the veggie broth and don't let it go to waste. Put it in a ice cube tray, freeze it, and use it when you need it. All right, the next step is to mix this all together. Dump it into one big pan, mix it all up. So let me do that and then I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. So here's the orzo comfort dish all mixed up. It's just beautiful. Look at all the color. I cannot wait to taste it. Well, apparently I don't have the video of me actually tasting the dish, but it was really, really tasty. I highly recommend it. It made about three meals for one person, and I just absolutely love this dish. Like I said, it's very easy and delicious. This is Jenny from MyEnergyShift.com. 
If you would like to post your comments on this recipe, I'd really appreciate it. Please subscribe to my blog and happy vegan eating.